Hi. Oh, wait a second. What? I can't see them. Oh, no. There's something wrong. Uh oh. Can you see? What? I can't see Hey, can see you see me. us? We can't see you. Hello. Hello. Oh, you know what? What? I think we need to adjust the focus. Oh, okay. Can Hold you on. do that? All right. Oh, that's much there better. Go. I did it. You did it. Oh, wait. That makes so much sense because our theme for this month is focus. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. This whole month, our theme is focus, and we're going to be talking about faith. Faith is trusting what you can't see because of what you can see. Hey, you know what? What? There's some really cool stuff. Really? Yeah, that you can't see, but it's still doing something, if that makes sense. How does that work? Okay, so I, I'm just gonna have to show you, okay? okay? Do you guys right. wanna see? I think it's really cool. I wanna see it. Okay, let's, let's do it. Okay, Gabby. What? Did you bring your lightsaber? <laughs> okay, let's do this. That's awesome. The balloons are actually moving away from the lightsabers. What is making that happen? That is so cool. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's see what these things do with some cans. Okay. Wow. That is so cool. So it's actually moving them without even touching them. So let's play bumper cans. Okay. And see if we can make them crash into each other. Okay. Okay, let's start at this end of the table. Okay. Ready? Ready. Set. Go. go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see if it works with something else. Okay. Okay, so let's see what this does. These are styrofoam balls wrapped in tin foil, and it's not, it's actually kind of cool what happens. Whoa! Whoa! That's awesome. That is so cool. And you know what? It's not the force. It's actually static electricity. And what we're doing is these are plastic pipes, okay, and we're charging them. You know how you rub your feet against the carpet and then you can poke somebody? Have you ever had that happen? I won't do it. Thank you. Okay, so what's happening is we're charging these just like a balloon, you know? Have you ever done that with a balloon? And then that makes static electricity and static electricity is what's making these things move. Yeah, and that's kind of like our question of the day. What are things you believe that you can't see? Yeah, so what are some things that you believe that you cannot see? Hmm, I don't know, like air? Air, yeah. I mean, we've all got to have air, but we don't see it. Mm -hmm. and, but we see what the wind does. Yeah. Okay, and um, static electricity. Woo! And, ooh, the virus. Yeah. The okay, virus. so we've all been affected by the virus, but we can't see it, mm -hmm. okay? But you know what? Believing in God is kind of like that. You don't see him, but you see what he does. You can see what God does, and, and you have faith that God exists, that he is, and that he'll do what he says he's going to do. So let's let the so-and-so show guys tell us a story about faith, and we'll see you on the other side. Well, John, good. You're here. And we're starting in two minutes. Oh, uh, okay. You, you haven't seen my glasses? No, have you? but you look great. Yeah, thanks. <clears throat> hey, John. Script looks good today. Uh, really? I, I haven't read the script. Hey, you haven't seen my glasses, have you? No, I haven't. Where was the last place you looked for them? Well, I was sitting right here and getting ready for the show when I saw a little white rabbit run across the set, so I followed him down a hole where I got really small, then really tall, and there was a cat, a queen, and a caterpillar. And the next thing I know, I'm coming through the door and I don't have my glasses. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna let you look for them a little longer, but uh, your day's been weird enough already. Uh, your glasses are on your head. What? Yeah. Uh, 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 oh, 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 all right, yes, let's get this show on the road. Uh, John, are you feeling okay? Yeah, great. Now that I found my glasses. Why? 
No reason. Why is everybody looking at me like that? Welcome to the So and So Show. I'm Brandon. Hello! And we are glad you're hanging out with us today. Yep. Hey, what is with the glasses? Whoa! Turn out my new toy that came in a cereal box. You're telling me those binoculars came in this box? No, no, but they're really? not binoculars, they're micro goggles. Ooh, my, what's micro goggles? Yeah, they're, they're kind of like hands-free microscopes. They help you focus in on tiny things so you can see them closer. Oh yeah, okay. There's apparently a secret message on the back of this that I need to use these to find out what it says. Oh, really cool, what's the secret message say? Mm, eat more cereal. Huh. <laughs> you don't say. Yeah. Don't mind if I take a look? No. I guess it's kind of a subliminal marketing thing, huh? I don't think it's subliminal. Wow, man! Yeah. What are you saying? These things are useless! What? I'm sending them back. No, you don't have to send them back. Wait. wait. We could use them to play a game. Oh, great! It's time to play Random Magnified Things. Hey! Random Magnified Things. Okay, uh, this screen is about to show us random things as seen through your micro goggles. Okay. So, each image is magnified 100 times its normal viewing size. All we have to do is figure out what each thing is. Whoever gets the most right wins. Got it? Of course. Great, you go first. All right, hit me small. Hmm, that looks like, yeah. uh, let's see, 100 times. I'm gonna go with like, it looks like a, it looks like a trombone, but that's too big, right? I don't That'd know. That'd be their actual size. Like this is how big a trombone normally is. It looks is. like a bridge to uh, me. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with a, a thumbtack. Thumbtack? Yeah, the curvature of the thumbtack. All right, sure. Okay, okay, great. Yeah, let's see if you're right. Uh, oh. You were in the right, right arena. Yeah, office supplies. That's right, okay, my turn. Show me tiny. Um, okay. I, I think I know what this is. I would guess it was like a like a close-up of like a grasshopper or something like yeah, that. But yeah, But there's a little red here. Mm-hmm. A little red and a little green. I'm gonna guess a strawberry. Ooh, strawberry it is. Brandon guessed a strawberry. What is it? Uh, oh, oh, tomato. Darn it. Oh, that's right. All right, all right. Back to me. Macro machines go. Mmm. Oh, what in the world? <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait. You know? I know what this is. At first I thought it was a lemon. Okay. But it's not. I know what it is. Because we're magnified. That's yeah. that is a pencil. That's what I think too. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Did he get it? Pencil! Yeah. You're right. That was very good. That's very all right, good. Me all again. Right. It's teeny time. All right. Hoo oh man, that's <laughs> I know what that is. I think I know what it is. It looks like my favorite uh, dessert. Is that an Oreo? It's an Oreo! Oh, I was right! Yes, you were. Mm. Okay. I want some okay. milk. Yeah, me. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay, it's my turn now, all right? Micro machines go! All right. All right. What, Ooh, do you think what that is one that? Is? I don't know. It could be celery. Maybe like fiber opti optic cable. It or... does look like that. But it's bunched up like. Oh, oh, what no, are you no, gonna no. Go it's, with? It's, a, it's, a, it's a toothbrush. Is it a toothbrush? You oh! betcha! Oh, well, the die. boom! Well okay, I got right, another one. Uh, Minutia, hit me! Oh man, oh, is that ooh. more fruit? It I don't know, like... it looks like cracks in something. Oh, that is interesting. Like, a, oh my goodness, I, uh. Almost looks like a nose. It does. <laughs> man, that is really hard. I'm going to say it's a, uh, it's a, it's a bowling ball. I don't know, I got A nothing. bowling ball? Yeah, so I can't, okay, I Okay, is it, it a bowling ball? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, it's a bottle cap. Oh, I see, great, great. Wow. I don't think we can afford that damage. No, but I don't think so either. <laughs> hey, okay, let's move okay, quickly. Uh, there's one more. <laughs> this round is worth a million points. Is it? Why did we bother with all the other rounds? We're both playing on this one, so the okay. first person to correctly identify the image wins. Are you ready? Yeah, you're killing me, Smalls. All right, go ahead and hit. Mm, uh, uh, it's uh, it's uh, fool's uh, gold. No, 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 uh, no, no, no. Is it's it, cornbread. Cornbread. Corn, corn, no, it's the uh, it's uh, the inside of an orange. It's, no, I know it's I'm not. not very good with shush. color. Okay, <laughs> why it's, shush? Because I don't want you to win. It's, <laughs> okay. it's a rock candy. Rock it's, candy, that's good. It's it's the inside of a, a, a bee. Honey, a honeycomb? hive, honeycomb. Um, it's a sponge. It's a sponge. 
It's a. It's not a sponge. Oh, oh. this is going to take forever. Uh, is it? Is it uh, the, the cereal honeycomb? Ooh. No. Is it a cereal? Uh, cereal. Ce it is cereal. It is. It's frosted flakes. I don't know who got that one. I, don't I said cereal. You, you know said what? a cereal. We'll do. 500,000 each. Okay, great. Okay, so great. I win. Yeah. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys, what's going on? Why do you have binoculars on your face? They're not binoculars. Don't ask. Do you have something for us? Well, I do. It's all about folks who believe in something they couldn't see. Sounds perfect. They're micro goggles. Take it away, Kellen. You bet. Now, we can't actually see God, not even with micro goggles, but we can see the stories of people in the past who put their faith in God. And I've got some special people to help me tell some of their stories. It's time for another edition of... The writer of the book of Hebrews reminds us of a guy named Abraham. What up? I'm Abraham. Well, actually, when God called Abraham, he was already pretty old. Oh. What up? I'm Abraham. Better. <laughs> Abraham and his wife, Sarah. I'm Sarah, with an H, in case you were wondering. Yeah, that's good to know. Even though they were old, they didn't have any kids. We ain't got no kids. But God told us to leave our home and go to a new land. He's promised us. Plus, he told us we would have kids. He promised. Look at us. We're old. We're like uh, cassette players or rotary phones. Didn't you hear what I said? I said he promised. Oh, then let's go. So they followed God and they had kids and grandkids, and great-grandkids. We got kids now! Yeah, we do! Yes, they did, just like God promised. God also promised Abraham that the whole world would be blessed because of Abraham's family. Abraham would not be alive to see the whole world being blessed, but he had faith that God would keep his promise. And now, let's talk about one of Abraham's great, 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 Great. Why not just say descendants? Yeah, that'd be easier. One of Abraham's descendants, Moses. Let my people go! Wait, before that, when Moses was a baby. <sighs> go, 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 go! He was rescued by his mother, who hid him in a basket on the banks of the Nile River. Whoa! Until he was found by Pharaoh's daughter. Oh, look at you, my sweet little mama! Baby? Yeah, so Moses was raised in the royal Egyptian family, even though he was actually an Israelite. The Israelites were slaves of the Egyptians. But one day, God spoke to Moses through a burning bush. I want you to bring the Israelites out of Egypt and into a land flowing with milk and honey. They are my people. As much as I love milk and honey, I'm not sure I'm the right guy for the job. I will be with you. Oh, well, all right then. Moses chose to stand with his own people, God's people, and he led them to freedom from slavery. Oh, you can do it now. Oh, <clears throat> let my people go! Mwah, beautiful. Thank you. The Israelites were free from slavery. And even though Moses didn't live to see the land flowing with milk and honey that God promised his people, Moses still had faith that God would keep his promise. Then there was David, who was anointed to be king of Israel. That's right, I'm anointed. What does anointed mean? It means you're not king yet. I'm still the king. So give me that crown. Oh, okay. Here you go, King Saul. Thank you. <laughs> you're not getting this back. I'm going to be the king 
and then my son will be king, and then my son's son will be king, and then my son's son son will be king, and then... Um, sorry, King Saul. God promised David he would be the next king. He, he promised? Um... Thank you. David was the next king of Israel like God promised. And God promised that David's family would always have a king on the throne. And even though King David would not live to see the birth of his descendant, who would rule God's people forever, David had faith that God would keep his promise. These people, they lived thousands of years ago. And they didn't always see what God promised them. But God could see things they couldn't see. And guess what? We can see things they couldn't see. We know the whole world was blessed through Abraham's family because one of Abraham's descendants was Jesus. We know that the Israelites made it into the land flowing with milk and honey. Yes! Uh, I mean, <clears throat> praise God. And we know Jesus is also a descendant of King David. And even though we can't see forever, we can have faith that Jesus will always rule like a king because that's what God promised. The end. That was great, kids. Thank you so much for your help. That is so cool, Kellen. You don't actually have to see something to believe in it. That's right, which means you don't have to wear these anymore. Oh, yeah. True. We can have faith in God just by reading about people from the past. Or there are even things we can see today that can help us believe in God. Such as? Well... Maybe you can see God in things he's created. Or you can see how God works in the lives of people around you. That's true. Thanks, Kellen. No problem. I'll catch you guys next time. Okay, and I'll see you then. Okay. You know, I believe in things I can't see all the time. You do? Yeah, like air. Can't see it? Believe in it, though. Oh. What? Nothing, I just... I don't know, I expected you to say something like leprechauns. Why would I say something like that? No reason. Do, do, do you know something I don't know, Brandon? Wait, are leprechauns, are leprechauns real? Are leprechauns real? Reveal the question. What are things you believe that you can't see? You got anything? I don't know, maybe, maybe leprechauns. Okay, what about you? What are things you believe that you can't see? Is it germs, uh, radio waves, or something else? Uh, talk about it together. Yeah, I gotta find one, because they'll lead me to their pot of marshmallows or whatever. I, there are no such thing as leprechauns. Yeah, yeah, what is I it, what is it? There, there's blue diamonds, orange stars, green clovers, purple hot shoes. Okay, that was the so-and-so show, folks. Goodbye. Good, good to find. Come here, little leprechaun. It's deep space. Oh, dark matter, dark matter. They think dark matter exists. It's the binding material in the universe. That a, a tooth cavity. Look yeah. closer, look closer. Okay, okay. There's a little bit of light. Is this a star? Is this like a singular star in the distance? Is it? Is it a tire tread? It's tires, right? Leather, leather, it's black leather. No. The TV's turned off, John. You drop that. Wow, that was a great story. And remember what our question is for the day. What are things you believe that you can't see? So one more thing that you can move with static electricity are bubbles, okay? And you gotta be so careful because they pop so easily, but watch. Ooh, whoa. See, they pop, but... See you moving? Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, but that's like faith. You know, we believe in Jesus and he lives in our heart and God exists. He, he lives, but we don't see him, but we see what he does. We see when he answers prayer. We see when he helps us when we're having a hard time. And we see what he does in the world. 
So just because you don't see something doesn't mean it's not there. And it's the same way with faith. You have to have faith to believe in God because you don't see him, but you can see what he does. You know what? I'm getting kind of tired of sitting down. Yeah, me too. So come on, guys. Let's get up. Let's get up and let's yeah. go worship God. Come on. You guys can sit down now, and this Cece's going to help us with our memory verse. Hey guys, I'm here to bring you your memory verse for the month. Let's see, it's kind of a little blurry. Let me just fix that. All right, that's a little bit better. All right, so I'm going to go over our memory verse for the month, okay? I'm going to say the verse with the motions, and you'll repeat after me. 
and then we'll say it all together. So this first one, I'm actually going to teach you sign language for our first word. And our first word is faith. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a D with your hand. See how it looks like a D? And you're going to put it on your forehead. All right. The next thing we're going to do is going to make OK signs with both of our hands. And we're going to take this one and we're going to put it down here. And we start with our D and then go to our OK. And that's the word faith. All right. So let's try it. Faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. Hebrews 11, 1. All right, let's now try it together. Faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. Hebrews 11, 1. Let's try it one more time. Faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we cannot see. Hebrews 11, 1. I hope to see you guys at church on Sunday, and if not, have a good week. Bye. Well, we love you, we miss you, and we're praying for you. In fact, I'm going to pray for you right now. Dear Jesus, I pray that you bless every kid and family that's watching this. I pray that you'd be with them in their home. I pray that you'd help them to have faith in you and that you will do what you promised you would do. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye.